Hello everyone, my name is Byung Mo Ko, and I'm majoring in business administration. Well, I'm really honored to be presenting here today, and since I'm the last presenter, I, I can see some exhausted faces over there. Well, <laughs> but don't worry, it won't take so long. All right. Oh, sorry, I forgot my pointer. All right, my topic is about the negative effect of globalism in cultural aspect. Before I move on, I want to, sh I want to show you a picture. Where do you think this place is? Well, surprisingly, this is a small town in the Himalayas. Don't you think it is shocking? Well, I did. But yes, there are Mac Oops. McDonald's and 7-Eleven even in the, Him in the Himalayas. So today, I'm going to talk about the problem of the world becoming more assimilated. Then, I will propose some possible solutions. Okay, let's start with the problem of global assimilation. Originally, global assimilation prevailed in the, in the age of imperialism. Weak and occupied countries were forced to absorb Western cultures instead of their own. Well, those days are gone. However, this phenomenon has gotten much worse these days because it is happening voluntarily without awareness. With the, with the development of transportation and internet, there is no limit on the variety and quantity of available information and goods all over the world. And the fact that Western cultures convey the image of high living standards, attracts people to accept them indiscreetly. But if they don't recognize the importance and significance of their own culture, there is high risk of minor cultures vanishing rapidly. So how can we keep a balance between foreign culture and our own? The first basic solution is educating the public with, re, uh, with new interpretation of globalism. When you look up the word globalism in dictionary.com, it says the attitude or policy of placing the interest of the entire world above individual nations. And even in Oxford dictionaries, globalism refers to the operational planning of economic and foreign policy on a global basis. No way. This is nonsense. My contention is that the word globalism should reflect a concept of retaining cultures of individual nations. Therefore, the proper definition should contain the phrase within solely protection of one's own culture. Fostering this new concept will change people's perception, and it will be much more meaningful if we can apply this conception into our lives. So, the second solution is creating a cultural mixture. I'm going to make this really simple with, a, with an example in Korea. Do you know Bongus Papago? Which is in English, Bongus Rice Burger. This looks like a hamburger, but it is made with rice, kimchi, and other Korean ingredients. Well, it is really cheap. Uh, large in quantity, and together with Kamramyeon, the harmony is just amazing. <laughs> you have to try this. Well, <clears throat> what makes this rice burger really perfect is, is that it is a great example, of mix, mix, great example of mixing American culture and Korean culture together. And, and it adapted the concept of hamburger to our own method, which is different from assimilation. In this way, we can, even though there are Western cultures pouring into our society, there is great possibility of coexistence between diverse cultures. To sum up, through the process of globalism, there is Through the process of globalism, uh, the world is being unified, and for some, 
it makes them forget who they are. And, and to get rid of this negative effect, uh, changing the perception of globalism and retaining individual cultures are needed. And there is a saying, think global and act local. It was originally used as a phrase to encourage people to encourage people to consider the health of our planet and health of our planet and take action in their communities. However, I think this phrase, this phrase, <laughs> I think this phrase can be applied to our today's topic as well. With the combination of global and local, there is a higher chance of diverse cultures surviving. So once again, think global and act local. Thank you.